Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Sapphire. In this video, I will explain you how you can self-host the static website in Windows from using Lancy. It's a great tool, a great plugin and package. Uh, what I have, uh, the reason for recording this session is because I have required this, I had a requirement where I had to host an application across the network uh, through a Windows application, like when the Windows application is up, that website should be up, else not. Um, it was for, you can say, inter-process communication also across the LAN using API and other thing. So I consulted that into small example so that you can figure it out, uh, the component, what you require. This will be like a wholesome package. It's not about total de detail, but it will cover all the basics and basic requirement for hosting a website, like sharing images and everything. So those all will be there. So uh, let's start. So the example is very simple. Give me a second. So first you have to install two naked packages. So right click package. So one is Nancy and second is Nancy hosting.cell. It's a good package. One more thing is you have to remember, like you have to run your process as administrator, your Visual Studio process should be run as administrator, else it will throw an error. And then you just have to create a few classes name, you can say module, sample module, which will inherit a class called Nancy.Nancy module. So this is the, you can say one class with which it identify, it's similar to API controller, what we inherit for self-hosted web APIs. So it's exactly the same. And why not self-hosted web API? Because here I also want to sh share the images and the files and everything. So web hosted, self-hosted web APIs doesn't provide you that information. So this one is better in terms of that. So uh, what I've done is I created two modules. One is sample and second is this main module. This the, And also uh, when the constructor is made, we have to call the base constructor using the uh, you can say the key with which the controller will, like the module will be accessed. So this one I'm accessing through sample and this one is I'm accessing through slash. And then you need a bootstrap. So now you have to create a class called bootstrap. You can name it anything. You can create, you can say text file, bootstrap, whatever. It should inherit default Nancy bootstrap. And then you have to override a method called modules and like you can say property modules. And this thing you have to copy paste. This thing is nothing but saying like in, within the assembly, find all the class types of Nancy module and return that so that it can register those modules. So it's very simple. You can say class, uh, you can say simple uh, one liner for this property to be returned. And then what I've done is in the my main thread, I have created a host. So host is declared globally, a static host. And then what I've done is assign my host, the new bootstrap class, what I have created, which should have all the register modules. And then the URL it should host on with the port number 8080. Now, if I just start my application, it's very simple. So first, in the first one by slash, I mean, the, you can say default page and it says hello base. So if I just go on Google, say localhost and say 8080, it says hello base. And if I say slash sample, it will say hello world. Here you can see it's very simple. Now, the most interesting part comes how you will host a website. Now, in this web, uh, you can say um, project, what I've done is I have created a folder called web view. In this web view, I already have a page. Let me show you the page. It's a sample page. So here you can see it's a small jQuery mobile page. It works uh, like very basically it works. So now this same page I am hosting through this one. So here, what I have to do is I will create one more method saying like slash view is the path or route for my class. And then I'm saying web view slash index.html. So now like return a view, which is web view slash index.html. Web view is nothing but the folder. Now, if I run this one, let me just show you an example. Focal host it has a slash at the project run. Okay, let me just first run the slash, the basic one. It has a slash view. And you will see an internal server. And the reason for that is because it is unable to find that page. So as you're working in Windows application, most of you people will know, but if not, you will be able to. So first you have to do select all this file, change the type to content, sorry, uh, content, and make it copy always so that it can be copied always. And same way with this one, say content copy always. So now what will happen is all the content will be coming to your bin directory. 
Uh, I hope you all are familiar with it. I'm expecting these to be seen by the people who are already working. So that website will come here. So once I rebuild, let me just rebuild my project. And here you will see a folder will come. So here, this automatically that page came. Now, if I run my project now, so it's coming up. And if I do the same thing, it will bring my page. Now there is still a catch, image didn't load. If you remember, the original one has an image which loads. Now, why that happened is because by default, it is not, uh, you can say, rerouting all the components. You, you can say the, I, you can say resources to that path. So what I will say is, I will search my a.jpg, which is my image name, and I will say web view slash this. And then there is a style.css file, which will again have the same thing because this is a static files. So I have to add this web view. Let me run it. And you will get this now. I think there is one more bug, but let's run it and check it. It's up. Now if I do, page loaded. Still, my image is not coming. Now, now I will show you what is the catch. So in the code, there is one more. Just ignore this one. So there is something called a custom bootstrap. Again, what I'm doing is I'm overriding. What I can also do is. I can just move this one here also. I don't require this. So here, what I'm saying is I'm overriding the configuration convention and I'm saying, if there is a web view within any resource or any URL, then redirect to folder web view. Now this thing will take care of all my resource rerouting, which are static, which are not part of the, you can say standard module methods. So if I go here and if I refresh my view again, and I click here, here my image comes. If I go and I can see my image also. So this is the way you can use Nancy to host your static website across the network or on the same system or do whatever, if it has to be you are. So I hope this lecture has been helpful to you. If you have any question, you can mail us on contact at the text fire. Sorry, you haven't mentioned that. Let me just do it again here in front of you so that you can also remember it. So the email ID is contact at the redtextify.net. Also, this is my phone number. The website is www.contextify.net. You can donate also for these free lectures. Thank you. Have a good day.